All right, here is a video of graphing a piecewise function showing that they don't necessarily need to intersect. Um, and again, like anytime I'm graphing a piecewise function, I'm going to do an xy table for the first function with the given domain and then an xy table for the second function with the other given domain. So starting with my top function, I have 3 minus x squared. And making my xy table, I'm going to choose values uh, anything less than 0, and I am going to include 0 it's just that when I graph that point at x equals 0, it's going to be an open dot in this first function, um, or in this first xy table, because technically 0 is not included. It's not in our domain, but I still want to graph it, and especially because I want to show that it's not going to intersect at this point. So I'm going to have 0, anything less than that, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Plugging it in, 0 squared is 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3 is 3. Negative 1 squared is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and then uh, 3 squared is 9, 3 minus 9 is a negative 6. Okay, so there's my first one. XY table for the second function, which is X squared plus 2. And so extending my page, I got X squared plus 2, making sure that that's right. Yep, and I got my XY table for this one. Again, I'm going to choose X values in my given domain. So I'm going to have 0 and anything greater than 0. And in this graph, I'm going to include 0 with a closed dot because 0 is actually in my domain. So I have 0 and anything greater. So let's do 0, 1, 2, and 3. Plugging these values in, 0 squared is 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 squared is 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 squared is 9 plus 2 is 11. And so now I can begin graphing both of them, but I do want to highlight this non-intersection point. So the first one, 0, 3, I go over 0, up 3, and this is the one where I have an open dot here because 0 is technically not included. Now we can just graph a couple other points so we can get a good picture. Uh, negative 1, up 2, so right here. I get uh, negative 2, down 1, so right here. And then negative 3, down 6, down here. And I have my first part of my function here. Now, graphing the other one, starting with x equal or 0, comma 2, this 0 is included because 0 is in our domain here. We have a closed dot at 0, comma 2. So I go over 0, up 2, and I have my dot there. You can see that these are not intersecting. There is a gap. That one's at 0, 3. This one's at 0, 2. But that's okay. It's still continuous because you get extremely close. You're following your function left to right. You get extremely close to 3. The graph breaks, and you pick it up here. And that's just fine when graphing piecewise. Just to complete the picture, I got 1, 3, so I go over 1, up 3. I have 2, 6, so over 2, up 6, and then 3, 11 would be off the graph, maybe somewhere right here. And you can see here, I have my other part of the function. So they don't necessarily need to intersect here, okay? As long as we have the correct xy table, we have an open dot and a closed dot. Um, we still have our function as is.